Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Thanks for being here. I'm super excited to introduce this brand new soundbar that I just bought. It's called the Blue D computer soundbar but i got the white version it also comes in a black version and in fact if you check out on amazon the black version is rated amazon's choice number three on the list so the main reason why i want to pick this up is to provide me with a little bit better sound than what the spectra speaker can do now the spectra monitor does come with built-in speaker but by no means is it usable I would say it, it has sound but it's not good so I want something that is compact that has decent enough amount of sound to enjoy say Netflix or play my PS5 on and also fit the color scheme white the nebula white off my desktop setup right now so anyways let's deep dive into the soundbar and I'll let you guys know what I think the first impression of holding on to the soundbar is that it definitely has a little bit of weight to it. Now I have a, also have a cheaper soundbar for comparison. I think this is ranked number 23 on Amazon's choice. This is the Soul Line, but you can tell that this is a lot cheaper. Um, it's super light. It almost feels like one of those like cheap Bluetooth speakers you can buy and this is exactly what that is. The first impression is that it does have some nice weight to it. It's not flimsy nor is it cheap. All the joints are done extremely well. All the fitment is done really, really nicely. Um, the speaker grill is this mash metal speaker grill. Um, also incorporated very, very nicely uh, into the speaker as well. On the side, you'll actually see a button and it's a very, very simple design. Okay, so one press, you can turn this on. One press, you can turn this off. Um, the volume is pretty self-explanatory. There's no end to it, it's an infinity scroll. Yep, just like that. That lets you know you're at maxed out volume right now. So I'm gonna dial it back. But there's no level. You can't really tell what level you're at uh, with this. You just kind of have to guess. So play some music and turn this knob and figure out what is the optimal audio for you at your current distance and set it and forget it. And to switch between Bluetooth and wired mode, what you do is you just hold down for three seconds. And you hear an audio. And if you wanna go into pairing mode, so you just basically hold this down until it flashes blue and red. Just like that. Now you're in Bluetooth pairing mode. Pretty easy. On to the RGB light. So how you can turn it off is you just double click. Okay. And that's how you turn off the light. There are only two lighting modes, unfortunately. Your second lighting mode is it just cycles through the RGB spectrum. There's no way for you to actually just set it in one color, color unfortunately. So you just kind of have to make do. On the side though, these RGB lights will stay on. As long as the USB is plugged into a power source, it will always stay glowing no matter if you turn off the speakers or not. That's just an indicator for you to know that there are actually you no know, power going into the speaker. The other thing I like about this is that the speaker will turn on automatically uh, as long as your audio source is turned on or giving it power. Um, so since I have it hooked up to the back of my monitor currently, my monitor turns on, it will automatically turn on the speaker as well and get it primed and ready. And how I set it up is I just have these sticky little feet that comes with it and I have it sit on top of my computer stand just like that and it just stays there and I really like the way it looks and it just stays there and the angle actually gives me a really good sound because of the direction of the speakers back to me so just to let you guys know in my testing this speaker is extremely directional because there's only so much room for the sound to come out so if you are sitting right in front of it which is what it's designed for it sounds great it's nice and loud we got a second to something on Ooh, money. Oops. 
detected by broke them. But in my opinion, the highs are okay. Uh, the mids mm, is not really there. So when it comes to say dialogue, sometimes it does sound maybe a tad bit muffled. The bass is there, but keep in mind, this is just a small sound bar with tiny little speakers, right? So it's not like you're gonna get, get big fat bass, but the lows could muffle the mids. And so, which is why I'm saying when you're listening to dialogue, sometimes it could get a little bit muffled, but if you're just using it for general purposes, listening to regular music, just watching YouTube videos, I think this is a great option. Not to mention the fact that there's 10% off right now on Amazon. So I think this is $49 and with 10% off, I think it comes down to around 45 plus tax. So it's a really good deal for something that is under 50 bucks that looks great, that actually has Bluetooth 5.0 and also give you a 3.5 millimeter jack to plug into a computer as well. It's just a very versatile and well-valued product. But if you want something that has a lot more base to it, you need to go into a higher price range uh, and something that actually maybe have a dedicated base unit that you can put separately under your desk. But this is probably not going to be your option if you want more base and like ultra clarity. But if you're like me, who's on a budget and don't want to spend hundreds of dollars on a speaker soundbar, I think this is a great option. Not only does it sound great, it also looks good as well. It's simple, it's easy to operate, it just works. So with that being said, if you guys like my video, please like, subscribe, and also ring that bell icon so that you'll be notified on the next video coming up. So I think the next video I'm gonna review is most likely going to be this Spectra 34 inch ultra wide gaming monitor. And I wanna give you guys my experience using it for productivity, video editing, plus a little bit of gaming as well. See you guys soon. Thanks for watching. Bye.